testing can be defined as the use of non-human animals in research and development projects for the purposes of determining the safety of substances. This may sound incredibly harmless. Some may not even think twice about animal testing in our products. However, the real truth behind animal testing can be enough to make you want to go completely cruelty free. The real truth is that every year animals are the subjects to life-threatening tests to ensure the safety of the products that you are using. Your favorite mascara may look great, but do you have any idea what animals had to suffer in order for you to be allowed to wear it? Between 100,000 to 200,000 animals suffer and die just for cosmetics every year around the world. This includes adorable little bunnies, guinea pigs, hamsters, rats, and mice. According to the Humane Society International, animal tests for cosmetics usually include skin and eye irritation tests. This means chemicals are rubbed into the shaved skin or dripped into the eyes of rabbits. Repeated oral force feeding studies can last months to look for signs of general illness or specific health hazards. These tests can cause animals to go blind, have swollen eyes, sore bleeding skin, internal bleeding, organ damage, and even death. What many people don't realize is that every day, scientists are developing new technology to completely avoid animal testing altogether. Some companies are already starting to use these techniques and are going completely cruelty-free. A cruelty-free company is a company that refuses to test its products on animals. They find alternative ways to test the safety of its products. Two very popular cruelty-free brands are the luxury brand Too Faced and the drugstore brand Elf. Carmex chapstick and Blistex chapstick? Cover girl. <laughs> Probably Maybelline. It turns out that most of your favorite makeup brands, such as CoverGirl, MAC, L'Oreal, Maybelline, and Blistex, do in fact test on animals. However, even some cruelty-free brands find loopholes to animal testing. For example, the drugstore brand NYX doesn't test their products on animals, but their parent company, L'Oreal, does test on animals. As we mentioned earlier, scientists are developing new ways for companies to test their products without the use of animals. One alternative method that has been created is using redeveloped human in vitro epidermis for the evaluation of cosmetics. Some consumers feel that products that, are, that aren't tested on animals may not be safe to be worn. So are they? The Humane Society International says that we have absolutely no reason to fear wearing cruelty-free products. Removing potentially misleading animal tests can actually improve consumer safety. By not testing on animals, you're saving cute bunnies like this one, this one, and this one. According to the Humane Society International, it is actually cheaper for a company to not test their products on animals. Some animal tests take months or years to conduct and analyze at a cost of hundreds of thousands and sometimes millions of dollars per substance examined. In contrast, computer modeling techniques are lightning fast and many cell-based in vitro methods as well as robotic methods are at a much lower cost than animal tests. Companies can save up to millions of dollars by switching to cruelty-free methods of testing. So what can you as a consumer do to stop the harmful effects of animal testing? You can start by switching over to cruelty-free products. You can in fact still do this for cheap. Drugstore brands such as Elf and Wet n Wild are completely cruelty-free and cheap. Going cruelty-free doesn't have to mean breaking the bank. By purchasing cruelty-free products, you are helping save thousands of animals' lives a year and contributing to ending animal testing, hopefully once and for all. Thank you.